This is India's Silicon Valley, Bengaluru. It witnessed one of its worst traffic jams yesterday. It started from afternoon and went on till late into the night. This is the outer ring road of the state capital that experienced heavy traffic on Wednesday. And uh, look at how it had really turned out. And due to the traffic snarl, commuters, including children in school buses, took almost double the usual time to reach their destination. According to traffic police, ORR witnessed traffic snarls throughout the day. The office goers were stuck for almost three hours right there on the street uh, to either reach the workplace or when specifically when they left from it. Officials have cited multiple factors behind this. That one, there was a bund, remember, that was called by the farmers a day before yesterday. Long weekend coming up. There has been rainfall, there has been waterlogging in parts of it. Uh, there are some other reasons that are also being cited. Remember, social media platforms, as you can see, were flooded with posts, photographs, that people who were literally stuck in the snarl got down, were able to take pictures. There were residents sharing pictures as well. But they were also mocking. They were also stating that this is supposed to be uh, one of the better cities of the country. And look how it turned out. And of course, it's led to political showdown. But there was something else that was supposed to be happening in Bengaluru and it went completely all right. That was, it was one of the most sought after shows for the residents in Bengaluru. But in a big surprise, here's what happened. Comedian Trevor Noah, who has a massive television shows in the United States of America, is a very popular artist, cancelled both his shows and at the last minute. It all began first when there were massive traffic snarls at the tech hub outer ring road that delayed Trevor Noah by 20 minutes. It was followed by a sound system that appeared to just not work. That made the comedian inaudible to the audience as he's put out a statement too. Uh, there were apparently no air conditioners at the venue for the audience too. The event organizers scrambled to fix the issues before a fuming Trevor Noah chose to cancel both the shows instead while people had already started to gather. In a statement put out on social media, Trevor Noah said his hand was forced to cancel both shows due to technical reason, he's apologized to his fans while promising a full refund as well. Not just that, Trevor Noah expressed dismay that uh, this has never happened to him before any of the shows that he's been a part of. Our dismayed fans waited months for the tickets to the show. Remember, many scrambled to sell off theirs on the internet after they were stuck in the traffic over two to three hours. And the ones who eventually managed to reach were told the show is not happening. Trevor Noah's show was scheduled in Bengaluru for today and tomorrow and unfortunately this particular show which was organized at the Manpo Convention Center has been cancelled due to technical reasons. According to Trevor, this particular show was cancelled because the organizers did not have proper uh, equipment, especially the sound system at this particular area and which has also resulted where the audience couldn't enjoy the, the, the comedies as well as the show which was being planned by Trevor. As we speak now, we are trying to enter uh, the area where uh, this particular uh, show was organized. As of now, it is around 10.30 p.m. in the night. Everybody have left and most of them have traveled close to two to three hours. And many of them even traveled uh, from uh, other parts of the country and reached Bengaluru to witness this particular show. And uh, unfortunately, this particular show was canceled. This is Sagai Raj reporting for India Today, Bengaluru. Guys, I'm so, so, so upset because I've been waiting for the last two months for Trevor. And I booked the front row, exactly the front row. You've got to see the bathrooms, you've got to see the entire setup. It is ridiculous. At this level, when you're getting Trevor, you cannot have such a bad organization. I'm really upset. I waited for almost six months for this uh, and yeah, it is disappointing. And the thing is, we can't even try to book it tomorrow. <laughs> we spent almost four days on this and it took us almost three hours for us to come here. So yeah, it is disappointing. Um, it's just been very disappointing. 